Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. I'm man enough. Let's do this. The Lost. Thel Ost. FDT36DK8. We can do this. Oh, we have the technology. Bomber Boy is actually potentially like heinously awful, but I feel like you pick it up just in case you have to panic reroll. And then, well, first off, five bombs. Maybe that ends up giving a small rock or something on this floor, but um, you pick it up so that you have a reroll if you need to panic. If you need to panic and you give me static, come on, baby, let me know. That was Rod Stewart. Ron Sugar, Australia's number one pop singer. Next to Men Without Hats. Are they Duran Duran? No, wait, Tears for Fears. They're, are they Australian? They sound Australian. In Excess is Australian, right? You guys have got all sorts of great singers down there. Liverpool lads, uh, the Beatles. Um, is, uh, I believe their English name. Um, Bono and the U, the other two, the other U2. It's why they got their name. They're always like, hey, hey, Bono, Edge, and U2, get over here. That is the funniest joke I've ever fucking made. Where did that come from? And most importantly, how do I make sure that it comes back? We're going to take Notched Axe for about 15 seconds. We're going to use it on this room. And then we're going to go back with the D4. I do want a uh, a better spacebar item, like Blue Candle or something would be awesome. But uh, Notched Axe is not going to be that for us. Not on this run, anyway. That takes us over 15 cents, which means we will be going to our shop here. Truth be told, a um, first floor... Hmm... You know what? Mom's Bonks of Trinkets could be pretty valuable. I just call it Mom's Bonks of Trinkets? <laughs> You'll have to forgive me. It's been a long day of of streaming and, and making videos. My throat is run ragged right now. I think we saved this key for the next floor, probably. What I was going to say is, though, truth be told, um, it's actually good for us to have... Uh, wait, 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 wait. Mom's Bonks of Trinkets. Mom's bonks! You gotta get it back! Um, we, uh... Are happy to be on an XL floor here. Because being on an XL floor does indicate that, uh, we'll be able to get a deal with the devil earlier. At least earlier from, like, a temporal standpoint. And, uh, Mom's box of trinkets does double the trinkets effects. So, really, we're just kind of mining this one for the world's greatest trinket. And if we can get it could lead to greatness for us. So this is like, you know, the real value of Bomber Boy right here. Is it going to take all of our bombs? Yes. Squeezy's pretty good, though. Um, I think that was probably worth it, all things considered. And then we fight against Monstro, a boss that is, you know, 10 to a 1,000 times easier than the Haunt to not get hit twice against. Like, if you get hit once on the uh, ghost section of the Haunt, like the little tiny ghosts, cancel Christmas, man. You're going to be having an, an anxiety-inducing fight. For the rest of that room without a doubt in my mind. I, I almost went Ned Flanders there. <laughs> without a diddly doubt in my mind, Arino! I was watching that, that Simpsons episode where the Simpsons come to Canada. And then they, they have a diddly off. And then Canadian Ned Flanders goes, Say there, partner, I like the cut of your jib. Want a puff of my reeferino? <laughs> I always knew the devil would be handsome. Let's go. Okay, we got the pact. It's, it's all right. It's not bad. It's not incredible. It's not bad. I'm going to open this golden chest without using two of spades. And I would say that that was not the right decision. But uh, we're still totally fine here. I think we try to find a... S no, I was going to say second secret room. But it doesn't seem likely to be here. So now we'll save our bomb. We'll head down to the next floor. Two is like my least favorite... Uh, opportunity to use two of spades. I'd rather use it on zero because then it feels like it's a desperation play. When you use it on two, you're just saying, I don't think I'm ever going to get more keys than this. Like, two is the break even point. Which means, I think, you might as well roll the dice because it never gets worse than that. Not, not even break even point. Counterfeit penny with mom's bonks. I can't not call it mom's bonks. Like, I'm doing it on purpose now, but still. Mom's Bonks of Trinkets. B-O-N-X. Hopefully this isn't like 
Fucking Urban Dictionary and, and quote-unquote kids these days, man. Oh, shit. I'll be saying something. Oh, you know... Yeah, that burrito was totally squim! And then you go on Urban Dictionary and they're like, Oh, squim is a derogatory term. Used to refer to people of the former Navajo Nation. And you're like, God damn it! Internet! By inventing these words, you've made me accidentally racist. I didn't want you to do that. The internet's only supposed to breed intentional racists, not accidental racists. I kid, I kid. Or do I? I just don't know what I'm talking about, mostly. I'm just telling it like it isn't. What do we got? Fish head. Mmm, don't really care. Because I don't think we can take advantage of that without taking damage of that. Little, little scary. Just trying to finagle my own little magic mush out of this, but don't think twice. It's all right. Help, help, help. Okay, good stuff. Our pill. Oh, tears down. That's a big one. A big one in my pants that I pooped out because it sucks. Hopefully we find, yeah, our item room. And uh, if we can get enough keys to get into our shop. Undefined. Undefined is so bad now. I wish that it weren't. And and truth be told, it might be the better choice over MB, Mom's Bonks. But I can't bring myself to get rid of it because I get to say Mom's Bonks more. Plus, we don't have an amazing trinket by Lost Terms. And if we get an amazing trinket, and I'm not going to, you know, belabor the point of listing them because you're aware that, you know, Curved Horn and the Cancer Trinket are all very effective, but... Uh, if we can, if we can get one of those, then the spacebar item is going to be incredible for us. Can't really justify Rainbow Worm. You can always use two of spades here and, and still basically break even. Uh, on, on this two of spades, relative to if we'd used it at, at two hearts. Oh, I thought that might be a second secret room we could find there. I'm a little scared, uh, about our opportunity here yeah okay just take this and again use it again two of spades now is basically just two keys whenever we want it all right starter deck is pretty sweet two of clubs i'll use paid four cents or sorry three cents for five bombs four bombs i don't know that's okay undefined is good because we can get to an error room out of it but now that they've taken out looping it's kind of like a chest looping, at least. It's kind of... It seems a little bit like, you know, what have you done for me lately? Yo, I'm pretty stoked about Bomber Boy. Like, this item, albeit extremely dangerous, is also being extremely helpful for us. Ah, shit. Got him. Okay, one more. If you want. One more if you want. You can bomb if you want. Oh, you can leave your consumables behind. And if you don't bomb well, you're probably fine. If we get out of Krampus, ah, it's, it's, it's pretty good. But I think I'm going to stick with Mom's Bonks. And I'm concerned about my allegiance to this item. But I do admit, it could be amazing for us. All we need is the right kind of combination. You know, I'm desperately trying to use... Oh, yeah, we want that. We're going to use the sun on this floor anyway. I was going to say we're desperately trying to use the sun, but we need to find a room that has combat in it before we can really do that. We got creepy bombs, which is not good. Wonder how many you get if you have a uh, bomber boy and you put a bomb there. Answer, all of them. Okay, Liberty Cap is probably better than Counterfeit Penny. We get two of spades, two of spades. Um, that only takes us to eight. Hmm, okay, let's come down here. I mean, we do want to leave this floor for certain with the Fool card, because that Fool card is going to get us out of Boss Rush. Yeah, that's probably better. That Fool card is going to get us out of Boss Rush with a free item if we make it that far and that fast, which I think is plausible. If we, if we live that long, we will probably be right on time for Boss Rush. That's how it seems right now, at least. Okay, Starter Deck's giving us cards. Now we got another Sun card and a Chaos card. Uh, well, Sun card... Is a decent room clearer. Sad onion is beautiful. You know, all onions are beautiful. Uh, oh, 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 oh. I just want you to know. You are a 
part of the garlic family. That's actually taxonomically true, by the way. Okay, we definitely don't give a shit about ringworm or wiggle worm. Um, but what we do want is this battery charge. Stud finder. Stud finder. I don't think that's really that good for us. By the way, I don't think chaos is necessarily that good for us. But it does make it sensible to use two of spades now. Because I'm not going to be taking it after this floor anyway. So, the l one thing I'm going to do here. Wow, one bomb actually cleared that? I really would like more bombs so that uh, I can uh, take two of spades. I'd like more bombs so I could uh, kill the boss easily. The chaos card I'd much rather save for it, like basically as late as is possible. Um, okay, we got a bomb back, and we're getting uh, bombs back from each penny now, which is really good. Okay, uh, yeah, you know I think deep pockets is great, and in getting deep pockets, we're gonna pick up so many bombs here. And there comes some more donations, courtesy of the troll bomb there. Okay, that, that's like a lot of bombs. It's an awful lot of bombs. I'm, I'm very happy about this. Very sorry donation machine. It lost 14 cents, but in doing so, we gained a lot of money. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and we're gaining a lot of bombs as well. I actually feel like this might be Bomber Boy's run. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get to... Oh, shit. I just bought the chariot by accident. Pop that if, you know, you got times of trouble, Mother Mary, come for me, etc., etc. Seem to be picking up a penny almost every single time, probably as a result, I would guess, of uh, Mom's box of Mom's Bonks. Sorry, I almost said it correctly there accidentally. Ooh, Mom's Bonks. Can't you bonks, Mom's Bonks? That's not what I meant to say there, and I apologize. Um. Let's come back here. We want to pick up the Fool card. We at least got value out of Chariot. Uh, okay, we're going to be on schedule for Boss Rush, which is important. And we still have our Chaos card in case shit hits the fan. Going to fight the mini boss in the hopes of picking up Anarchist Cookbook, which I just think would be incredible right now. You know what? Yeah, okay. Fuck the Fool card. Easy come, easy go. We could have very easily died there. I think I made a sensible decision to leave when the going was good. That, that definitely could have gone worse. So I'm not going to be salty about that at all. There's always more fool, car fool cards. Um, I don't think we really care about spirit hearts, so consider that largely pretty much fucking irrelevant. That was dumb. Two of hearts. Huge. That could make all the difference here. I mean, when you think about it, all you have to do is get uh, Dark Judas or Lazarus Rags... And then, you know, pick up maybe like eight red hearts, and then once you get there, uh, lose half of them, and then use two of hearts, and it becomes useful. So it's not like unfathomable that this would be uh, beyond trashed here. All it takes is an incredibly specific series of events. No problem. Yeah, sure. Troll bomb. Okay. Well, we're still alive, as of the Catacombs 2. We have 41... Bomber Boy bombs. This will just kill any boss dead. We do have to hit them. That's that's what I find to be an important prerequisite to mention. Deal with the devil. Deal with the devil. No deal with the devil. HP. Flat penny. You know what? We could probably use keys more than bombs at this point. Maybe? I don't know. Bombs are pretty fucking useful. Necropolis one. I do need to go to that cursed room. And we will do so without taking damage for sure now that we have a secret room right next to it. How are you not deceased or closing in on deceased? Bombs aren't going to last too long if we keep using them for every single room here. But the keys are! The keys are going to last forever. And I like killing greed in a single hit. Mortality clarified in a single blow. Two black hearts. That's a big one. That's some good shit right there. Good sh Uh, excuse me. Egg father, that meme is, uh, ten minutes old. You can't use it anymore. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me! Fuck you, I won't meme what you tell me! That's... it's... Dad, you're trying too hard. My father forgot his medicine. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. 
Ah, we got Infamy. Infamy could save our asses. We got bombs. We got keys. We got the jazz, you know. Microphone check one, two. What is this? The five foot assassin with the roughneck business. Oh, that was like real dangerous. Yeah, it had a little brain fart there. Don't do that. That is not some good shit right there. Hey, kids. I'm YouTube's Northern Lion. I know we all like a good meme now and then, but I'm here to tell you, you know what's not some good shit? Black tar heroin. Uh, we're probably better off keeping what we got. One day that's gonna happen, man. You're gonna see me in a PSA. You're gonna be like, I thought Dad was cool, but now he's telling me not to huff store-bought spray paint. I don't know what to believe anymore. I want to do a PSA that's like, Hey kids, I know you guys like to laugh. But you know what's not funny? Being a fucking asshole. Just being an asshole. Friends don't let friends be assholes. Actually, as much as I, like most PSAs, kind of completely strike out, there's a great PSA right now. How old am I now that I'm talking about a great PSA? There's a great PSA right now, honey. About uh, texting and driving. And it's got, uh, it's like, look at how nice this guy is. He's so nice. He's, he's like clipping his neighbor's hedges and watering their plants and stuff like that. And like washing the dishes after he eats them. But then he like looks at his phone while he's driving. And they're like, ooh, wow, what a selfish move. Not so nice now, are you? And I was like, that shit is effective. But it's like group shaming. You're like, wow, what an asshole. You want to be a nice person, don't you? Sorry. Looks like you're an asshole. I love it. You know, that's that's some effective advertising right there. And what I also love about this is that this isn't a controversial stance because if you would disagree with me and you're like, okay, I mean, we shouldn't be texting and driving, but some texting while you're driving is okay. You look like a dick, which is, it's like an argument I can come way over the top in and basically you can't argue with me, which is great. I mean, it shuts down intellectual discourse, but at the same time, you know, I feel like I'm right here. Like, I, I drive all the time and I manage a business that exists 100% online. If I can put my fucking phone away for two seconds and not look up a, you know, oh, hey, look at this celebrity just farted into the camera. By the way, pick up milk. You know, if I can avoid looking at my phone for that shit when literally, like, could get a tweet that's like, hey, you know, people are real fucking mad at you for some reason. You absolutely can. Like, I have, there's nothing that irritates me more than, like, somebody passing me in traffic and then I look at them and they're on their fucking cell phone after they pass me. Like, if you're, <laughs> what are you doing? Just in general, man. Driving. It, it, but people do not drive safe. It, it bums me out. And it's, it's not fun to talk about, but, like, people are like, you know, I didn't mean to drink and drive. Was, well, you I mean, you drove your, your car to the bar at, like, 6.30 p.m. and you left at 2. What did you think was going to happen? This shit bums me out, dog. People can't uh, let themselves be, like, not plugged in socially for, like, ten fucking seconds. Anyway, the whole point here is don't text and drive. Also, that PSA, I hope, is effective. Most PSAs are just laughed at because it's like, if you ever smell a marijuana leaf, your IQ drops 100 points. Yeah, it's just, like, scaremongering. But this, where it's like, hey, if you text and drive, you're an asshole. I'm into that. That's, that's more my speed. I don't know. We'll stick with the extra speed for now. Speaking of which, ooh, ooh! I didn't mean to, didn't mean to use chaos. I meant to hit control and change cards and then use the emperor. No, I should have had high priestess active. If I, I don't, I don't use my very minimal platform for for very much soapboxing. But for real, if you're like 15 and you're gonna learn how to drive in the next year or so, don't text and drive. I don't know, that might kill us as the lost. It might save us, but it might kill us. Uh, and if you're like, you know, anywhere between the ages of like 16 and 100 and you text and drive, like cut that shit out. I've seen your fucking texts because your texts are the same as my texts. They're not that important. It's it's the st it's always the stupidest shit. So, oh, Johnny texted me a picture of his balls. Can't go two seconds without looking at it. He's so cute. Oh, I'm fucking dead. Yo, Johnny does not give a shit about you. 
Girl, you gotta live your life. Don't die in a, an accident. Don't kill somebody else, especially. But good God. What are we gonna do with this Emperor card? We're gonna use this to teleport out of Boss Rush. I have the utmost confidence we're gonna be able to get in there. We're gonna be able to snag Death's Touch and we're gonna escape. We're gonna get out of this place. We're really gonna go when we, we wanna go and walk in the sun. And then, till then, tramps like us, baby, we were born to run. Okay, so actually, Mom's Bonks plus uh, the Cancer Trinket here is incredible. Ooh, I'll do it, because you might give me the compass. Oh, baby, you would have what I need. If I was a 16th century explorer looking for the path through the North Pole or maybe someplace else like the West Indies. It sort of works. It sort of works. But you're just an astrolobe. You're not a compass. No, I know. Oh. Cartographer cartographical how do you even say this? Keeping up with the cartographers. That's a fucking show idea right there. Keeping up with the cartographers. They would give you they would give a cartographer and then a person who thinks their sense of direction is really good a map and then set them loose in the world and be like, "Well, keep up with this guy, motherfucker, if you're so good at directions." Got rotten baby. Got the polaroid. PhD is okay. Libra, not right now. Cancer items, oh, we gotta go Halo, I think. PhD could be worth it, but gotta go Halo. We're gonna keep popping off Mom's Box here, but basically we're holding Mom's Box to uh, make the effect of the Cancer Trinket twice as good. Because that is what it does. Uh, it's, it's secondary benefit beyond just giving you a trinket is doubling its effect, if that's something it can do. Uh, so, I'm pretty stoked to have this. And it's going to take a lot to give it up, but I'm going to keep using it to try to get, uh, to try to get, uh, Curve Torn, which I think is probably the only trinket that I would really be happier to have. This one could be a win, actually. And you know what? Like, it wasn't that good for most of this run. Like, a lot of this run, this shit seemed pretty shaky, but we put it together here. And I got to give, uh, Bomber Boy... A lot of credit, because it could have totally fucked us, but instead, it hasn't. Infamy? I don't know if Infamy's ever saved the day, but it has saved me from having to have the day saved a couple times. Which I think a preventative day save totally counts, man. I have no interest in this. I still hear Kate, she's laughing about me singing Jeremy in Rock Band. Ho, 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 ho! It's this, you know... Not my finest work. Clearly I remember picking on the boy. Seemed a harmless little man. Oh, but we unleashed a lion. She's I can still I don't know if you guys can hear her, but she's she's having the time of her life back here. Not but she's not in the same room. She's in her office, but I can still hear her doing her imitation of me. I gotta be honest with you. It's weird the way uh, having a job like this affects... I, like, I don't have crippling social anxiety, but I can be shy sometimes. I don't think that's... You know, sometimes people are like, I have social anxiety. And they're, you're like, well, go say hi to that lady. And then they do, and you're like, well, you, you know, seem alright to me. There's people who won't leave their fucking houses, right? But uh, what I'm getting at is I don't want to make it sound like I'm pathological here or anything like that But sometimes I can be a little shy. Sometimes I prefer to be quiet. Sometimes I prefer to be loud aka I'm a relatively normal human being Me thinks the lady doth protest too much, but um, Kate and I did like a rock band stream Like 2,000 people were watching. I'm a terrible singer, and I know I'm a terrible singer So I was singing my heart out because it was fun if I had to get up and do karaoke uh, in front of an audience which is not, I've, I've done karaoke a lot, but always in like the private karaoke rooms with like, you know, four to twenty people. And that's fine for me. But if you were like, hey, get up at this bar and do karaoke in front of the whole bar, I'd be like, hell no. But to do it in front of two thousand people, no worries. It's weird how the internet works like that. Maybe I guess because it's an audience of people that already, I guess, have chosen to watch me. It's not like I'm forcing my terrible singing on them. They're like, well, we gotta leave. Like, I'm hurting the bar's business or something. No, no, come back! This guy's not affiliated with us. He just comes in and sings Pearl Jam some sometimes. Nobody's nice enough to tell him to leave. We heard he doesn't have family. Um, fuck this room as a lost. 
I'm not doing curse rooms, by the way, just because I think we've got to win, and I don't want anything to go wrong. And it, you know, going to those rooms gives us a chance that something will go wrong. Just in case we take some extra damage. But we are not going to fight the Hush, either. Uh, and we're not going to fight the Hush, because something could easily go wrong there. We also don't really have a good Hush-focused run. Like, I don't think we're going to be doing absurd damage to Hush. I'm also, like, never going to use Bomber Boy Bombs again. Because, again, it's just too dicey. So, Succubus is amazing here. Judas' Shadow means that it's extremely unlikely that we'll lose this run. Um, at least lose it in an outright fashion. But I'd much rather finish this one as, uh, as the Lost. Because just, I like the bravado of just having a, having an Eden streak. Sprinkling a little Lost. Sprinkling, sprinkling a little Lost in there. How you feeling today? I was feeling like, uh, I would throw my streak in jeopardy to play as a character who dies if they get hit twice on any given room. That's how I'm feeling today. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling like Jeremy Spokin plays today. I feel like, you know, we're, we're conditioned as a society to be embarrassed by, uh, by bad singing. I don't really feel embarrassed very much by my bad singing, even though I know it's bad. I think it's the, oh yeah, kill the whole room except for like one enemy that you didn't even see. You gotta do the whole thing over again maybe. Uh, excuse me. Let me out, please. What? The Bomber Boy bombs don't kill it? Well, I guess we'll just fucking have to clear it then. The the real, um, the cringe factor is people are coming into the stream. They're like, oh, cringe incoming. Uh, I don't think so, man. I think we're both pretty aware of where our musical talents lie. And, and we're okay with it, and that's half the fun. It was like a subscriber, uh, you know, goodwill goal. Um... The, the, the cringe comes in hubris. That's when you go on, like, American Idol, and then you're like... I'm gonna be the next pop star. Uh oh, Angela, your eyes are like two shiny blue rockets. This is Jason Schwartzman's song from uh, the end of Slackers, the 2001 film that killed Devin Sawa's career. I love you, but I hate you, which brings to mind how much I love you. We could've worked things out, you know. In my little room. In my little lock room. Sorry that you had to settle for Dave. Oh, it's fucking curved horn. The one dimensional man. He's filed under cocksucker in my little black book. Anyway, this is it just keeps going from there. Those are the real lyrics. It's not like I haven't listened to it 35,000 times. Uh, sad bombs, Cupid zero, heck yeah, betrayal, eh, it's okay, maybe. So, we're gonna find out, man, whether it's, whether it's Curved Torn or Cancer, and I gotta admit, Cancer might be winning the day right now. It's not a sentence that I, I say lightly, I'm talking about the zodi zodiacological uh, cancer here, not, you know, the disease that will kill one-third of the people listening to this, uh, you know, maybe myself included. There's your, so, you know, you were probably feeling good about that whole singing thing there, but now I brought it back to the existential quandary of how a, um, you know, how the spectrum of diseases are, uh, you know, just, what I'm getting at is that mortality hangs over us constantly. Today, you, tomorrow, me. What I'm getting at is that, you know, one day we'll die and then existence will be wiped out forever and then we'll just, uh, you know fail to exist and perceive anything and uh, as a result the time that we spend in that plane will be infinite and uh, so uh, make sure to buy my t-shirts um, real talk if you're, a, if you're a fan of the show that would be sweet um, the, my new t-shirt says we're all gonna die someday probably I don't know I'm not a scientist and then on the back it says J check Wikipedia What's fucked up is that this is a self-aware joke, but that t-shirt would probably ship like a few hundred units. I would buy that shirt if I didn't make it. <laughs> I don't know. Can you wear that in public? Would people think you're trying too hard if you wore a shirt that said we're all gonna die someday? And maybe like on the back it said probably. I think I think that's like dark enough while still having a sense of humor about it that it's it's not like you're wearing a shirt that's like, you know, 
God is dead. And then on the back is like a picture of Friedrich Nietzsche's mustache or something like that, which is another great name for a band. Yo, did you go see the Tacoma Narrows Bridge collapse this weekend? The opener was Friedrich Nietzsche's mustache. <laughs> mustache. It's Friedrich Nietzsche's mustache. That's not it either. They played the uh, they played the song that Jason Schwartzman sang at the end of the 2001 film Slackers, which killed Devin Sawa's career. It was uh, mind altering. Well, I mean, like this, we could not pick more dead ends. I do appreciate how we only have to hit an enemy like twice to kill him. That's pretty dope. It's going well. But, you know, every extra room we do is like a 2% chance we die on it, so eventually those numbers could catch up to us. Hopefully they don't, but they could. Oh, oh, oh. Bunch of Teratomos and uh, little old fistulas. Okay, that's no problem really with piercing shots. You know, one, one shot should pretty much clear up one set of uh, Matrushka dolls here. I'm breaking my own rule. Wait a minute, when did we get sad bombs? When did we get Bomber Boy sad bombs? And why was I not informed of this, uh... Of this change? Don't get hit. We didn't get hit. Hell yeah. I mean, if we get hit, we come back as Dark Judas anyway. But I really would like to win this as the Lost. That way I, you know, maintain some level of bragging rights. Just dodge right into that one. That should do it. Succubus. No, that wasn't even close to doing it. What were you thinking there, brain? Nice math, brain. Sure, Midas touch. I mean, with Holy Mantle, there's something to be said about this. I think we're going to do it. This was a fun run. Too long, didn't watch. Um... Thanks for coming back for the end of the video. Don't text and drive. Uh, buy my shirts. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.